Hey guys, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness, and we got some beautiful 40 plus degree weather here in Ohio in January. So, taking this opportunity to do a little bit of bushcraft and show you how to make a bushcraft ladder with 50% less cordage using the tourniquet method. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it up here. I'll put a link there. Um, but why would you need a, a ladder in the bushcraft? Well, I can think of a couple reasons. Um, if you have wild edibles and trees that you want to get to and you can't reach, ladder. Uh, there could be some bird's nests which have eggs which are edible, ladder. Um, or you could use it to cross some impassable um, ravines or cliffs. Uh, again, you don't want to go too far out, but you could make a ladder structure and try and try and cross some some small crevasses. So let me show you how to do this. It's going to be really super simple, and you're going to like it. All right, guys. Well, how do we how do we make this ladder? Well, let me start by saying I've got some 150 pound bank line here. Uh, I can't say more good things about this stuff. It's super lightweight, um, is compact, much more than paracord, and it's more practical. You don't always need 550 pounds of tensile strength like paracord. You can use this for all your bushcraft shelter work. So what I did here was I just took some lengths of rope and I did a double sheet bend to make a loop and you're just going to take each one of these and just put the loop right here on your one side of the frame now you're going to take your step part put it here and you're just going to turn this until it's really tight it's getting there. That actually might be pretty good. So see that that right now is not moving. I probably could do maybe one or two more turns to make that really good. So there. So this is essentially my tourniquet bar. So I do not need to um, have another bar to secure this uh, tourniquet lashing. I will need one on this side though. So. What do I do here? I do the exact same thing that I did. I take one of my loops and I put it underneath my frame. Get caught on some things there. Put that side of the step ladder in, but now, now I will need a small tourniquet bar. So I'm going to put that in there and then I'm just going to tighten this up this may take a couple more turns now in order to uh, reduce the number of turns you can always make these loops smaller but again I'm going to tighten this up real good so it doesn't slip and then maybe one more there now I'm going to secure this with just some regular bank line right here. I can just do a, a quick little knot. And so that that's it. You just work your way straight up the line. You make your uh, bank line loop on this log, slip your step in, tourniquet it up, do the same thing on this side, but you're going to need a tourniquet bar to secure the right hand side of your ladder and just go all the way up through. So let me finish this up and then we will uh, test it out. All right, guys, well, I'm on my last rung. Again, this is just a really small ladder that I made, just three rungs. Um, but just to recap, did a loop, used the step bar to tourniquet that side, put the loop on this side, got a tourniquet bar so I could uh, lash the step to this side. Now, I will add uh, one quick comment. You can see how I, I put another um, just square knot here to, to keep this uh, tourniquet bar from unraveling. But when you make your main loop that lashes either one of these or, uh, the steps to either one of the spars, you may find that it's too big and you're continually turning and turning and turning the tourniquet bar and it's not really getting that tight. It will get tight eventually, but it isn't really that ideal. Um, if you're low on cordage, by all means, redo your loop knot make it smaller, then try it. If you get some uh, cordage to spare, and let me bring you in here. 
All I did was I made a simple figure eight overhand loop on the loop just to make the loop smaller. And then I put my tourniquet bar in there. And so that just saved me from having to do like 10 or 12 wraps. Um, but again, only do that if you have sufficient cordage available. So there you have it. Let's, uh, let's put this thing up and see if it holds my weight. All right, well, this is the first time I'm trying it out. If I used a uh, somewhat rotted wood, you guys are gonna have a, a good laugh. So see if it, see if it holds. There you go. Nothing incredibly impressive with a three-step ladder, but you can make this as big as you want, right? And even if you don't have the longest spars, the frame on either side, you can do a tourniquet lashing in the form of a shear lashing or parallel poles so you can extend the ladder. Uh, now again, uh, you really need to make sure this is secure. Don't make it too big. Um, because uh, you know it could tip over and you need someone to, to hold the, the base just to make it uh, make sure it's steady. But uh, that took me seven minutes. Really easy. And you know, the possibilities are endless with that. Like I said, you can cross crevasses, you can get wild edibles from the trees. But you can also uh, use this as part of uh, shelter framing. So get out there, try it. Thanks for watching on point preparedness.